Hi guys, as you can see, I'm at Richborough Castle. It says it's closed. The car park certainly is. But um, let's take a walk. So I'm testing a new camera today. It's the SJ4000 or SJ Cam. Arrived this morning, quite cheap. I think I paid 60 quid because I paid for the pack with the um, all the accessories, including this little mount that goes on the end of a pole, which is hopefully quite good. Now I've seen some reviews and I know there's a new GoPro Hero, um, but it's still a lot more money. And it comes in a massive waterproof case, which it doesn't come out of. And yes, I'm sure I'll use the waterproof case that came with this one from time to time. But, uh, and, and going for the real quality ones, the real GoPro heroes are, for me, just too expensive. So uh, there's a fair old walk up to this, um, up to this castle. And I'm not sure how much I can access today. But it's a beautiful day. Wind's a little bit cold, but we're in the middle of February. And uh, as you can see, you know, this is lovely. And I'm obviously testing out my camera as well. I have no idea how well this footage will come out. But what I have decided to do is record the audio independently. And a little bit later, I'll show you how I'm doing that. Because the tiny little microphone on these cameras, and in fact, GoPros in general, is um, gonna pick up a lot of wind noise. So as I say, officially this castle is closed today. So behind me there's a toilet block and it says the car park closes at 4pm but uh, the gate as we saw at the bottom the gate was closed so there wouldn't be any cars there anyway. So actually I'm on a footpath around the outside of the amphitheatre and I'm not actually in the castle grounds itself. Unfortunately, the mount on this pole is um, is loose. The camera's not going to fall off, but it's free to swivel around, which is no good. So it's a very, very cheap pole, and I don't want to buy anything too expensive. So there we go. We're all bolted up, unfortunately. But uh, let's go for a little walk anyway. I guess this is the museum. So the best thing for me to do is to actually come up here on Saturday or Sunday when it's open, as per usual for English Heritage 10 till 4, and, uh, and have a proper look round. But it's a nice and fresh walk, and I'm dropping down now, down the embankment towards the train line, but uh, so I'm not getting any views of the castle from this side, but uh, let's see where this footpath goes and we may be able to see some more. Mm, nearly fell over, that would have been a funny one. And there's a train behind me. High speed train. Over there we can see Pfizer's building. Pfizer's at Sandwich. I mentioned it in one of my earlier videos. Most of it's not in use now or being used by alternative companies. <laughs> I 
one of the things I haven't really considered is if I bump into people walking along talking to myself. I know it's common these days for people to talk on their phones, but uh, I can see a house over there. If we look that way, there's a chimney. As long as I don't fall in there. So what have we got here? Public footpath. Style. So, I've no idea where this goes, but... Uh, So, let's cross as far as. Look and listen. And knowing the train timetables isn't any good because uh, even though it is a fairly quiet line, Well, I can certainly hear nothing, and I shouldn't really be playing around with the camera. See the river down there. Well, I can hear nothing, and I can see nothing, more importantly. So I've spotted a footpath behind me, so I'm going to take that route down the side here. Well, despite me saying how I would react if I bumped into another person, I've yet to see anybody. I've seen a few cars past me when I was walking here, but I haven't walked past a single person. So all I'm doing at the moment is just walking along the other side of the... Yeah, I think that speaks for itself. Walking the other side of the train line. No swimming, no diving. Yeah, I don't think so either. So a small jetty here. Well, lots of small houses, allotments, boat yards. Had to come from the other direction. I thought I was uh, totally on private property. But the, uh, the signs on the gate and the fence there say private, indicating the track I'm on isn't. <laughs> And obviously I've just followed the route of the footpath, which merged into a track. So I certainly had no idea all this was here. I knew there were various places with boats moored on the river here, but uh, I'm sure this path will take me out back into Sandwich somewhere. Having to dodge the puddles. You can certainly hear a train coming, I think. That wasn't... Made me jump then. So, despite the castle being closed, I shall revisit at the weekend. At least it was a good opportunity to test the camera. Thanks for watching.